today is going to be a busy one for so, so many of us. And I hope you guys have allowed yourself a little bit of rest and downtime between all of the craziness of finishing work for the year and moving into whatever you might be doing if you celebrate Christmas. And it has just been full on over here. I had so many inquiries in the last few days and I felt like I was just on the phone or on my computer 24 seven and it was a lot. So I only got around to doing my Christmas shopping and finishing that off yesterday. And now today I need to wrap all of those presents. I did do a Woolworth shop last night. So thankfully that part is all done. I'm going to make two things that I found on Pinterest when I was doing my little holiday research. So I've got this one, which will be a bit of a Christmas sangria, but I have changed the recipe around slightly because I didn't want to make it kind of too cinnamony because I feel like that's very cold weather mulled wine sort of vibes. And then I've got all of the ingredients to make this, which will be a charcuterie board, but as a Christmas wreath. And I absolutely cannot wait to put that together. I think it's going to look so good. So that is everything that I've got. I've got all of the ingredients for that sorted. And I'm just having a very lazy breakfast, literally just a bowl of cereal with some banana and honey thrown in there because I need to get to wrapping all of the gifts and then I just need to get myself ready and it is kind of sunny today so I'm not sure because it has been so cold. Even when I went to the gym this morning it was only like 14 degrees so I've got a red dress that I really really wanted to wear but I may save it for tomorrow. So we'll get ready together shortly, but I thought we could also wrap the presents together so I can show you all of the different gifts that I got in case you are needing some very, very last minute ideas or maybe you're gonna be shopping in the sales and these are some kind of things that you could pick up. So I'm gonna have my breakfast now and I'll catch up with you guys later. I've just hopped out of the shower and I have actually put on a jumpsuit because I remembered that at Jazz's parents' place, there's kind of like limited seating. And I think when we're doing all of the Christmas celebrating and all of that kind of stuff, we're going to be sitting on the floor and I don't want to be in any kind of short dress for that sort of situation. And it is also currently 19 degrees. So it says a top of 23, but that can kind of feel warm and it can also feel really cold. And their house tends to go on a little bit more of the cold side. And I think it is actually gonna rain for Christmas day tomorrow, which is pretty disappointing, but such is life when I don't fly home to the Gold Coast this time of year. I am going in a few days, but for now we are in Melbourne dealing with what is summer, you know? <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to start putting on my moisturizer and all these kinds of things. And I've still got like an hour and a half until I need to leave and head to Jazz's place. So worst case, if I start to feel like I'm getting hot, I can change. But I wanted to show you this moisturizer. Excuse the packaging. It's a little bit dirty, but I've almost finished this. It's from a brand called Olivio. They're not sponsored or anything, but I'm almost done. It's a hemp seed oil uh, nourishing day cream. It says 100% cold pressed hemp seed oil. I really like this. It's really made my skin feel super hydrated and moisturized and I really enjoy. So I was actually gifted that product, but I think I'm going to buy it and continue using that as my moisturizer. So now I'm just going to grab everything else out and then I can get ready for perfume. I'm still using this one as my favorite for going out. It's the Vahi Ember Haze. This smells so good. I don't know if they're going to do like sales or anything, but definitely pick this up. It is such a beautiful signature scent. And in terms of anything else, I need to put on some sunscreen. I've been using this SPF 50 from Aven and Priceline, I'm pretty sure has like 40% off over this period. So maybe you'll be able to pick that up, but SPF 50 always on the face, um, on my body, not so much. I'll just use like a normal SPF if I'm going to be spending significant time out in the sun. And that's just because I do already like, this is me completely with no tan on. So I've already got a really light olive undertone and I just really don't tend to burn unless I'm really, really in the sun. So I can tolerate it a little bit more. Whereas for Jazz, cause he's more fair skinned, he will use SPF 50 all over and really concentrate on reapplying every four hours. But just a reminder to be sun safe over the holidays. Cause I know we all get a little bit silly when we're out in the pool having a glass of wine. And it is really important to make sure you don't get burnt cause getting burnt is painful. And you always know, cause when you're walking back from the beach and you put a bag on your shoulder and you can just feel it like, 
tingling and sizzling in there, you know you've gone too far and you've got a bit of a burn. For my makeup base, I'm going to blend three different items together. That's just what seems to work for me because you're never going to really get your skin shade in a bottle. If you have found a brand that you feel like does that, please drop it in the comments. But I always end up just kind of blending a bunch of different things together. So first one is the Flawless Filter in shade 5.5 Tan from Charlotte Tilbury. Next is this Inoxa Healthy Radiance Foundation. This one I get in beige 106667, but I will say when I bought this the other day, this is much lighter than the previous bottle I had. So it is actually on my to-do list to write into them and say like, what happened to your formula because it has changed. And then this one is a Revlon Colorstay Longwear Makeup and it is in True Beige shade 320. So this one I feel like just kind of retones that Inoxa one, but it is lighter coverage and this one is heavier. I really could use a foundation brush, but I've just always been a hands-on makeup applier. I'm not really sure why that is. I feel like it's giving me a little invigorating face massage to kind of wake up for the day, but I do actually actually have a really nice kind of kabuki brush um, foundation brush I guess if you will that I could be using but I think because I have slightly sensitive skin if I use brushes and they're not cleaned like constantly and properly it can lead to breakouts so I just kind of tend to not do that next up is bronzer I'm just using this Maybelline city bronzer which I don't actually like so if you have a good bronzer recommendation let me know I used to use the de bronzy from drunk elephant the little kind of bronzer drops but they do have a bit of shimmer and also they're very expensive because if you're putting you know a little drop or a bit more on every single day you end up using it very very quickly so I stopped with that and I haven't found anything I like ever since so I'm definitely in the market for a new bronzer so please help me out with that because I actually did drop this the other day too so now the palette is kind of broken and it really just needs to be replaced with something better. Next up, this Lasting Radiance sort of very light beige concealer from Rimmel. And I just put a little bit of that under my eyes to wake me up. Although I will say since working for myself, I don't need this as much. I feel like having had worked myself this entire year, it's really been a bit of a journey, but I'm just so much better rested and less stressed than I was working in my last corporate job. That job just really took a toll on me emotionally and mentally and everything else. And truly I am so, so thankful that I took that risk and stepped out on my own because now if I'm feeling um, like completely destroyed, I can take a day off gym, I can take a day off work, I can just sleep in and work until later and kind of set my own hours. And I'm just finding that flexibility works a lot better for me because having been someone who is dealing with a chronic illness throughout their life and the stresses that that kind of used to put on my body I just really know that I need to slow down otherwise I'm kind of more susceptible to getting sick or feeling very run down or getting really overly well like sorry overly whelmed overwhelmed and emotional so yeah just a bit of a shift in life and priorities and all that kind of things for me and i'm really really much happier now this one is called liquid illuminate from lust minerals it's their highlighter if you will and honestly i got this gifted to me a very long time ago and i use it almost every single day and it has lasted me for months and months i think I've truly had that bottle for around about six months. So you definitely get a lot of mileage out of it if you are wanting to have a little bit more of a liquid than a powder sort of version. This one is underrated in my opinion. It's from Emco Beauty. You can just pick it up at Woolworths and it's their instant contour cream bronzer in medium dark. The light one is way too light for me unless you are fair skinned and this is just for contouring. It goes on really nicely and it very much disappears once you blend it in. And I just really like that for adding a little bit more shape and definition because I definitely have a cute little round face and I would love to have more angular, but we all just have to work with the features we've got. So I feel like this kind of helps me bring out a little bit more shape. Enough talking for me. I am going to finish getting ready. I'm just doing a little bit of liquid blush. I've got my lips and brows and mascara left to do. So I usually just use the Falsies Surreal Mascara. I've got a Revlon brow kit. I'm trying this long. 
L'Oreal Paris Infallible Lip, but I don't really like it. And once I'm all ready, I will catch up with you. I wanted to add in a couple more jewelry pieces. And of course my favorite jewelry brand, as you know, if you've been around here for a little while is Ana Luisa. And Ana Luisa is such a great brand. They have huge sales on at the moment. So I also have my discount code linked in the description box down below with the names of the pieces I'm about to show you if you're interested in shopping and getting an absolute bargain because these pieces are hypoallergenic. They have a two year warranty. They're tarnish resistant and they are just so incredibly beautiful. They've got such a different range from silver to gold plated or solid gold. They even have real diamonds in some of their pieces. And I have so much from this collection. Actually, the earrings I'm currently wearing and this little E charm necklace, which I'll show you up close in a second. Uh, also Ana Luisa pieces. And yeah, I've got a couple more in front of me. So I'm thinking I might sort of layer them up a little bit and I am actually gonna get changed because I thought I could stay in this. And now that I'm sitting here in it, I'm getting way too hot. So I popped another outfit on my bed. But before I do, let me show you through these beautiful pieces. I also love these beautiful little pouches that the pieces come in. They have magnetic little clips like this. So if you're traveling, over the holiday period or just in general and you want to keep your jewelry protected and separated so it doesn't get all tangled which is something I've had to learn the hard way over the years then I definitely recommend because they come in all different shapes and sizes depending on what you order and I just think these are really cute and it makes it super easy for me to pack everything up so this first one is a ring and it's called the Amara ring in black and I got mine in a size six that allows me to wear it on my ring finger if you will so so I like to wear these on my right hand until I have one to fill the left, but I do actually have a ring on this hand at the moment anyway, just to add a little bit more shine. But isn't this just the most beautiful ring you have ever seen? It's got this gold star kind of detail on it and then some black kind of onyx and then a thick statement band. Next up is a pair of earrings and I was actually tossing up wearing these today. So I might end up changing out my heavier kind of hoops for just a little bit of a different look, but I'll open it up and show you. And I love the black little canvas bag too. This is probably one of my favorites. So this is what the earrings look like. They are these two links. So one is a plain link and the other one is a twisted sort of pattern. And I just think these are so beautiful. They just really add a little bit of something without being too big. Like if you're not really a big statement earring kind of person, but you want something that's still delicate, but a little bit more interesting than studs. I think these are the perfect compromise and they just clip open really simply like this. And then you're able to just close them back up. This is the necklace. It's a beautiful chain link kind of design. So it's got these longer sort of links and then a little circle link in between and I just think this is really beautiful it's sort of like a classic kind of paperclip style necklace and I think I might actually wear this one today to pair with the little e I think this could look really beautiful together as a bit of a set and it'll kind of keep my jewelry quite plain because I don't really want to do anything overly Christmassy today since it is Christmas Eve so I think I'm gonna save my red dress and all of that really festive stuff for tomorrow for actual Christmas Day which will also be in this vlog. I just kind of made a decision to kind of chop it in two. So I'm going to do the food and stuff like that later as well. So I can show you through all of that, but this is just stunning and I'm going to put it on so you can have a look. This is what the two pieces look like paired together. And I think this is really beautiful. So this is on the last link of the extender. So this is kind of the shortest and tightest that it goes. And that's just to show you the E necklace, which is on its longest link. So you can kind of stack these two together really beautifully. Last but not least, I was definitely on a necklace hunt and I picked up this beautiful one because I thought it was so unique and something that can be worn on its own this definitely speaks loudly enough and it doesn't need to be stacked so this one is called the pebble necklace in gold and the chain length is 20 plus 2 so similar kind of story it's 20 inches which is actually very long and then two inches on the extender and I just really loved this piece I was very drawn to it I think it's such a gorgeous shape and just really really unique I haven't kind of seen something like this before of course it is meant to be like a little pebble or a stone or 
something it kind of also reminds me of a little bit of a raindrop and I just love this one I think this is so pretty and I can't wait to wear this for gifting let's talk about the essentials and I can wrap what I need and I'll be on my way so this year I wanted to just do really beautiful and simple so I've just gone for plain gold and silver wrapping paper I also found two lots of these gold and silver bows just at the junk shop so they were only $2.99 each I also got some gold and silver ribbon which I'm going to tie into bows and then I also got some gold and silver Christmas cards so everything is on theme for that and then I also got some candy canes which in a perfect world it would be amazing if there was like gold and silver candy canes but I didn't see them maybe somewhere fancy like David Jones would have something like that but for now I just got these and yes the packet is open because I already ate one so <laughs> that's everything that I'm going to be using for gift wrapping and now I'll show you what I've got for the presents so the people in this either won't be watching my video or by the time it goes up they'll have had their present anyway so it's fine but for mum I got her this lip oil from Naked Sundays it's SPF 50 because they live on the Gold Coast and get a lot of sun so I thought she might like that I also got some Panna organic hazelnut chocolate then I got these beautiful candles they're like tapered twisted pillar candles from Birch Grove home and they're camellia and lotus blossom and it's kind of like a sage green sort of color which is her absolute favorite and the last thing I got is this St. Agnes toxic free living so this is a little detox pack and my mom used to be really into Chinese herbal kind of medicine so I thought she might really like to try this because it's got five packs of foot patches and then five tea bags with a little bit of a detox tea so it's kind of like a week-long program that you can do to detox your body which is perfect after the holiday period so I thought she might really like to try that out next just something really simple for my sister's little boy because they'll have to fly back to the state so I didn't want to get them much because they've already got all of their bags and things with them so it'll just be a lot to have to take it back but he is sticker crazy at the moment so I got him these little bundles of stickers for my dad I got some Panna honeycomb chocolate because he loves crunchies and honeycomb kind of stuff so I thought he might like to try one of these I also got him a Dan Murphy's gift card because he loves his beer and wine so this way he can go and shop and pick out something that he would really like and lastly for my sister's husband and also for dad I got this seven in one stylus pen tool from a really cool gift shop and I thought that they would both really like this because they're both pretty technically minded guys so one's in silver and one is in black and they can just pick whichever is their color preference but Basically, it is a Phillips head flat screwdriver, a spirit level, a stylus, a ballpoint pen, a ruler, and a phone holder. For my sister, since it is winter back in the States where they'll be going home to after Christmas, I got her these beautiful leopard print cozy pajamas. And I thought she might really like these because she really does love those kinds of prints. And this way, they'll be long sleeve and long pants and they'll be super cozy to have around the house for winter. So that's my family done. But now for today, I've got Jazz's gift and there's also a Kris Kringle, which which is just up to the value of $50, I think, for something like that. And then we also have to buy a book. So they do a little bit of a book swap where everyone gets a name out of a hat and you have to buy that person a book. So I got his sister's uh, partner, so I bought him the... Four Laws and that's a really interesting book so Jazz actually picked up the copy of it for me and I'll have to wrap it when I get there but for my Kris Kringle I will yes yeah, sorry and then for the Kris Kringle I picked up this which is the Alive Body Wash so this one is body lotion and body wash in a set and these are really generous sizes as well I think they're probably like I don't know at least 250 mil 500 whatever the bigger size is in this beautiful navy blue color and I thought this will look perfect in someone's home and who doesn't want these kind of products so it's a really good prize to kind of win if you're in the Kris Kringle and then for Jazz who is the most impossible person to buy for and I'm sure if you are in a relationship with a man you can totally relate to this because they are so hard to buy for I feel like they either go out and buy the things that they want anyway even if it's so close to Christmas and they don't tell you or they have really expensive taste and they want fancy things like boats and technology and all of that kind of stuff that is just completely out of budget for Christmas especially for me because I started a business this year and 
I'm still kind of playing catch up with my finances. So I've had to be a little bit more sensitive to that when I'm shopping for Christmas this year. But I did find some really cool stuff for him and I'm kind of just going to put it together like a little hamper. First thing I got was this bag of wood-fired organic coffee because he loves organic things that are low tox and he loves coffee. So I thought this would be perfect. It's a really nice dark roast kind of coffee and it'll be really nice and full bodied. Next up, I got one of his favorite chocolates, which is a Toblerone. And I just saw it when I was doing my Christmas shopping last night and I thought, you know what? How perfect. It's gift wrapped and they were also half price at Woolworths. So it was an absolute Deal. Next thing are these everyday socks from Nike, but I couldn't quite remember his shoe size because I know men's shoe sizes are a little bit like not exactly the same as ours, not totally equivalent. And I wear a size 10 and his feet are definitely bigger than mine. He's a six foot two man. So I got these ones that are size 12 to 15 and now I'm worried they're a little bit too big. So I've actually popped the receipt in with his present just in case. So he can go and exchange them in case they're not right. Something really little I found were these magnetic bookmarks. It's just a four pack and I thought that would be a really handy way of holding a page because I'm a page folder and Jazz hates that. He always puts a little card or something in there, but often he's just popping in something he's found like a receipt or a business card or whatever so I thought he might like to have a little pack of bookmarks instead as a placeholder. Next thing I got was this microfiber sport towel from Rebel Sports and it's just the brand Celsius it's a hundred centimeters by 50 centimeters and it has a zip pocket on it and I thought that'd be perfect for heading down to his gym because he's got a gym in his building and he also owns some gyms so he kind of goes there from time to time and that way you could kind of put your keys in the zip pocket and be able to just pop on down there and have a towel to use on all the machines and things like that. Last but not least, this comes in two parts and I actually have something from this brand and it is brilliant. So I would definitely recommend. They're really, really good quality and it kind of mixes something stylish with something technology based. And this one is a beautiful loop loop keychain sorry leather keychain which is an elegant leather keychain and a quick release key ring from the brand orbit key and it's just in black which i think is perfect because i actually had bought him a daily edited keychain once but he lost his keys so it is now gone and he needs a replacement and I've noticed his house keys don't have anything nice so I thought to get this beautiful one instead and the other thing for my man who loses his keys is a key finder so again from the brand Orbit Key and this one says locate your lost keys and belongings in second it's a Bluetooth tracker and I thought he would really like setting that up and having a little bit of a play around with it and it's super stylish as well all right I've got a hustle so I just need to wrap Jazz's present and the Kris Kringle I'll leave my family stuff till later since we're not flying up there for a few days so I'm gonna do that now and then I'll be on the move Time to go. Merry Christmas Eve and I will see you guys all tomorrow to make the platters and head off to a beautiful Christmas lunch. Good morning. Merry Christmas from Melbourne. It is so, so gloomy and wet out there. Last night driving back from Jazz's parents place is quite honestly, probably one of the scariest drives I've ever done in my life. And that's coming from someone who grew up on the Gold Coast and knows a good storm season and a good rain when you're driving down the freeway. But this was completely different because I feel like the roads in Victoria are just not made to handle torrential rain. So when it does happen, you end up aquaplaning. It was massive puddles on the freeway that people were splashing up on your windscreen and to be honest it was seriously scary not to mention there was like lightning and thunder and all sorts of stuff going on so that wasn't terribly fun but we had the most beautiful Christmas it was really really lovely sharing with some family and friends and now I've just gotten ready because we are off to Christmas Day lunch at Jazz's brother's place with a whole bunch of other people so that's what we're gonna do now but I thought I would quickly show you the presents I got yesterday and then I'm gonna make some some sangria and a platter and we'll be on our way. First off, I got this water carafe and tumbler set. I'll take it out of the box and show you, but I really wanted this for my desk so that I'm reminded to keep drinking water throughout the day. And I also just think they're really pretty. 
Next up, he got me this book called Passion, Purpose and Profit, which is a little bit of a guide on building your business. And I just thought this would be really perfect to have a flick through over the holiday season. It seems to have a whole bunch of useful little workshops and exercises and things in there. So I thought that could be a really good one. And it is something I saw when we were out shopping the other day. So I said to Jazz, like easy Christmas present if you just want to pick that up. Next up, he got me this beautiful Study of Trees scented candle from Studio Milligram. I actually have the room spray version of this which is something Jazz also got me and when we were out the other day I saw that they had made candles so I said honestly I would absolutely love the candle version as well so that's one of my other presents and this is what it looks like out of the packet just very simple very classic very minimalistic and it definitely blends in with the colors of decor in my home this is the book I was gifted in the little book swap that we do so I got someone a self-development book and then I got given a um, fiction books. So I think this will be a really good one for me because everything I've been reading has been non-fiction lately. And in the Kris Kringle, I feel like I hit absolute gold. I got this gift voucher from Mecca. It's $50 and that's perfect because I need to go and buy some setting spray. And last but not least from Jazz, a little something special from Marc Jacobs. He got me this beautiful coin wallet and card wallet, sorry, I should say. And it's so perfect for me because it actually matches my Marc Jacobs tote bag. So I could not be happier with this beautiful gift. First things first, I wanted to make a Christmas sangria. So I've got a couple of the ingredients here and a little glass jar. So I'm just gonna chop all of those up and pop them into the jar. That is all of those ingredients chopped up now. So I'll just pop out the rest of the things from the fridge and show you what else I'm putting in it. The other ingredient to add a little bit of sweetness is this 100% pomegranate juice and then I've also got a little bit of soda water just to add in some bubbles. Next up these are all my ingredients to make the platter. I've got these bamboo toothpicks I found at Woolworths. I have some salami, prosciutto, baby boccaccini, I've got cherry tomatoes, mini pickles, green olives, grapes, some vintage cheddar, I have artichokes, red, um, I think that's red capsicum that's been pickled, black olives, and a whole bunch of rosemary, basil, and microgreens, which are a bit of thyme, just to add some decoration. This is the finished product and I think it turned out just like the picture. I couldn't be happier. I think this looks so beautiful. I am not sure how to do this in terms of glad wrapping or just trying to carry it or something, but hopefully it doesn't get damaged in the trip over and I really hope everyone enjoys. Mm -hmm. 